All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean all of our HMI and tungsten fixtures, uh, which is really simple. Uh, we're going to be using what we recommend is vital oxide or our diluted bleach solution. So it's super simple. Just spray it on a rag. Don't spray it directly onto the head. That way you can control how much disinfectant you're using. And then, yeah, also, before we start, make sure that your light is disconnected from the power so you don't get a little spark action. And then, yeah, just start cleaning. And make sure you get the entire exterior surface. Uh, mainly, you want to make sure that you're hitting all the big high-touch areas, which would be your yokes, uh, your lock-offs, your connectors, your knobs, and your uh, power switches. And yeah, make sure you also don't clean the lenses or the bulbs. We'll take care of that, so don't worry about that. And then, yeah, that's it. And for our T2, you want to make sure that you remember the switches on here because they're not attached to the head like the M18s. So these guys are pretty easy to forget. And then that's it. Uh, also, almost forgot to tell you, don't use isopropyl alcohol on these guys because it'll take off the paint and it'll take off our barcodes, which we don't want that now, do we? Uh, yeah, and it's just that simple, guys. So after you clean all your lighting fixtures, you're obviously going to need to clean your ballast, so it's the same thing. Spray a rag. Don't spray on the ballast itself because it can get inside the air vents. And then make sure that it's also unplugged and disconnected from the power. And then just away you go. Make sure you get every little bit of the connectors. Make sure you get the switches and every button up here. And yeah, it's just that simple, guys. That's it. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be showing you how to disinfect our Joker kits. Now these are just like disinfecting all the HMI and tungsten heads. The only major difference that you have to pay attention to is that when you're cleaning these, you have to leave all the components out to dry. You don't want to put any of the components back in the case wet, because if you put anything in there wet, it's not good for the equipment. So yeah, other than that, that's it. Simple. And if you require any vital oxide on your productions, or if you have any other questions or concerns, please, please feel free. We invite you to call us or email us, and we'll absolutely be willing to help you with anything.